Hello, my name is Kainton, and today we are going to be starting a new course in Python this January 2019. This is 2019 Python programming course, and we are going to start it from now. And hopefully in three months time, we are going to complete this course and you should be able to write Python programs, complete Python programs uh, without any help. So I'm not going to skip any step. I'm going to start right from the scratch, installing all the tools you need right from when you are going to be writing Python programs like building games. Or, or some other programs or analyzing data in Python, we are going to do this in three months. The key is consistency. Be consistent every week. I'm going to make a lesson or every two times a week, I'm going to make a lesson. I'm going to notify you and you spend 20 or 30 minutes practicing. That is all you need to do. No need of moving from one website to another. No need of moving from one textbook to another. Just follow every week, you follow a lesson and in three months, you are going to learn everything you want. What you'll need to do is just subscribe to my channel, click on the subscribe button below this video so you get notified every week I make new lessons. And also, you leave a comment for me. Uh, if you have any challenges, I'm, I'm going to respond to give you any assistance you need to learn Python. It's amazing that Python is really very easy. The easiest programming language to learn is, is really interesting, as you can see. So, subscribe to my channel and let me know. If you have any challenges, I'm going to respond immediately before I make the next lesson. This is 2019, learn a new programming language in this first three months. So, so let's get started immediately. We are going to set up all the tools we need, we need in our system to learn Python. And it's very easy and interesting because everything is free. You don't need to pay anything to learn uh, to get these tools you need. PyCharm is an IDE used to write and run Python programs Anaconda is a, a distribution of Python that comes with Jupyter Notebook. Now, what is Jupyter Notebook? It's also a tool that lets you write program on a web page so that these programs can be bundled as well as the output and distributed via HTML, PDF, emails, or, or any other kind of document. So Jupyter Notebook is really amazing because it helps you bundle uh, both graphics, both codes, graphs, and results of your programming in a web page and you can even distribute it to friends and allow them to run it using different sets of data. We are going to see how this plays out as we move along. So don't forget to subscribe and also share it with your friends if there are other friends that, can, that may like to join this course so that we can do this together. So let's get started. The first thing we, got, we are going to do, I'm going to put away this tutorial, uh, this uh, presentation and let's go to download PyCharm first. So. I'm using Chrome, so I'm going to go to the website to download PyCharm. So you simply go to jetbrains.com slash PyCharm edu slash downloads. So this is it. So simply can pause the video and look at the URL. So if you get there, you can see that you have download PyCharm edu. So don't click on this button, just click on download. If you are using Windows, if you are using Mac, to, uh, switch to Mac. If you are using Linux, switch to Linux. So every other thing is the same. It's the same IDE. So if you download, I uh, to download. So it starts downloading as you can see, but I'm going to stop it right now because I already uh, have downloaded it. So I'm going to cancel the download. The next thing I'm going to download and install is Anaconda. Anaconda I'm going to go to anaconda.com slash downloads. So you can see, you can pause the video and copy the URL into your system. So here is almost the same thing. So scroll down a little and look at Python 3.7. Please don't download 2.7 because it's completely different from 3.7. 2.7 is an older version and some uh, functionalities of Python uh, 3.7 doesn't really work in 2.7. So download this and install it. So basically I've downloaded Anaconda before now so I'm going to just cancel the download. So I'm going to go to download folder and just go ahead to install. So this is my PyCharm I already downloaded so just click on it and the installation is quite straightforward so you just install it. But now I've already installed it so I'm going to exit this installation. The same thing goes for Anaconda. The installation is also very straightforward, but if you have challenges, just leave in the comment. I'm going to reply immediately so that we don't have uh, any delay in our learning. 
All right, so after downloading, let's go ahead to uh, after installing. So this is PyCharm. If you open it, now this setup is really very important because there are some things you need to know about starting a new project or creating a file in Python. Before you be able to write a program in Python, you need to create a project. Uh, in PyCharm, you can see create new project here. So click on it and give your project a name. I'm going to call it Tut1 or Tutorial1. I'm going to say create. So it goes out to initialize the PyCharm. It actually does this only once. So if we create this project, we can write as many files as we want inside this project. So we allow it some seconds and it's completed processing. So the next thing you want to do after now is to simply, yeah, so you can see the project is created to one. Simply right click on the project and say new and choose, don't choose file, just go down and choose Python file as you can see here. And give your Python file a name, so call it course one. Any name you want, you can give the file. So the, the extension is .py and just say okay. So now you can see uh, the new file has been created so you can actually start writing Python programs here. So normally what I do is to go to settings if I want to change it to black. I normally go to settings and go to editor and go to color scheme and then you can actually change it to dark cooler. Uh, I normally like to use the dark background sometimes and then I also like to change to presentation mode. So at this point, I can just write a comment, welcome to Python. So comments in Python starts with a hash symbol. So hash symbol starts a comment, which is ignored by the compiler. So if I say print, uh, if I say six times five, and I click on this run button at this point, you can see it runs and produces an output right here. So we are good to go. We are set to write Python programs at this point using PyCharm. So let's go and take a look at Jupyter Notebook and Anaconda as well. So if you install Anaconda, if you come down to your start menu area, you can see Anaconda 64B. If you are using 64-bit system, so simply drop down and choose Jupyter Notebook. So I choose Jupyter Notebook, allow it to open in the blast screen, and then it opens the, the HTML or the browser front end for you. So let me just increase this a bit. So the next thing you want to do is to go to, let me reduce it a little, is to go to the right hand corner and choose new and also choose Python 3. If you choose Python 3, it starts a new notebook. You can see the name is Untitled. So to change the name, simply click on this Untitled and then you can change the name to, to, to one, to Tutorial 1 and just rename it Tutorial 1 as you can see. So that next time you can write, uh, you can continue on it. So you can see this is quite different from the way Jupyter and uh, uh, PyCharm works. This gives you small cells for you to write your programs. So this is called cells. Um, so to write a program is about the same thing, simply that you need to write it line by line. So if I say the same thing six times five, six times five, and I click on the run button, it also gives the same result output of 30. So this is the environment we are going to use. So in the next tutorial, we're actually going to start working on the uh, looking at the syntax and the structure of Python program using the tools we already set up. I'd like to remind you to subscribe and also leave a comment if you have any challenge. And also, um, we'll see you in the next tutorial.